I first learned of Cindy Sherman this past June when I visited the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. I was fascinated by her exhibit and anticipated the opportunity to explore her work further in this class. This is known as Untitled 2010, shown in the MoMA exhibit, where Sherman is dressed up. Sherman now is around 60 years old and is still shooting. She began when she was an undergrad in New York City. Her first major work is known as the Untitled Film Stills. This is one of her most recent works. It's Untitled number 465, taken in 2008, part of the Society Portraits. It's meant to invoke vulnerability and the impossible standards of beauty. Sherman is most notable for her photos because she appears as a subject in almost all of them. She uses herself as a means of expression on a number of topics in the modern world, like the role of women or the role of the artist. This is Untitled Film Still number 59, taken in 1980. Sherman with a suitcase, meant to be girl on the run. Sherman went into photography in order to put her time into an idea, raising questions about the role of women in society, the media, and the creation and nature of art. Sherman's first body of work, the Untitled Film Stills, is meant to represent cliches embedded in our culture. This is Untitled Film Still number 3, taken in 1977. Sherman is a stereotypical housewife from the 1950s. For the Untitled Film Still, Sherman dressed up as stereotypical female roles, like be like actresses, girl on the run, or housewife. Sherman made use of wigs, hats, clothes, unlike her own, to play the role of the characters. It's untitled film still, number 27B, 1979, possibly Sherman as a mental patient. Here we have untitled number 150, taken in 19, 1985. Here Sherman makes use of a prosthetic tongue, which was very common in her Disasters and Fairy Tale series. She frequently made use of prosthetic body parts and dolls in order to create the idea of a parallel between disgusting and beautiful. Here we have Untitled number 173, taken in 1986. You can see Sherman in the upper left-hand corner. Exemplified in this photo for this series, Sherman made use of weird situations with odd-colored lighting to create scary, deformed, and grotesque images. In 1988 through 1990, Sherman did a collection known as the History Portraits. This is Untitled 198, taken in 1989. Again, Sherman made use of prosthetic body parts to augment her own and recreate famous paintings. It is meant to be familiar without specificity. It is theatrical and artificial. Untitled, number 215, taken in 1989, Sherman recreated these photos because she liked the idea that images could be reproduced and seen anytime, anywhere, by anyone, she once said. For the first time in 1992, for the series Sex Pictures, Sherman is completely absent from the photos. She used dolls and prosthetic parts placed in highly sexual poses meant to shock the viewer. This is Untitled number 250, taken in 1992. It's very creepy. Her work is important because it is extremely different. It is very shocking and could come off as vain. However, it is not, and is said as a significant message. This is Untitled number 360, taken in 2000, meant to show women's yearn for youth. Sherman highlights the transformative qualities of makeup, clothes, pose, and surgery. Also seen in Untitled number 397, also taken in 2000. Sherman represents a desire or failed ambition. Conceptually, Sherman is very different because of the message she sends. Sherman's work is very significant and important to the field of photography because she is an innovator and inspiration. This is untitled number 425, taken in 2004. Sherman's work can be seen in galleries, museums, and many other outlets. I strongly encourage everyone to look at her work on their own and make an opinion of themselves. Thank you.